Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm back and for the first time I'm gonna actually be doing something a little bit different today uh, as a count of this has been probably this is gonna be like my first video in about four years now that this channel's been dead uh, but I'm back and I'm here to do a review on something this is something I've really been a bit on and off about ever since it was first announced all the way back in like what early November late October this has been something interesting. Uh, I'm going to be taking a look at the first two episodes of My Little Pony, Pony Life. Uh, I just finished watching the first two episodes. And I'm going to go like right out on a limb, right off the bat. And I'm just going to say this right now. As much as I said I was very on and off about it, I was honestly kind of freaked out over this. But I got to say, I I like it. It's It's not bad i don't hate it it is weird i will just put it this way it's a weird way of seeing the beloved main six from friendship is magic it's such a different way to look at it i find it kind of interesting uh, but for those who are not aware uh all the way back in october 2019 my little pony friendship is magic officially ended the the show itself came to an end um, we're still getting word on Equestria Girls. I don't know what they're going to be doing with that. If I'm just praying there's a season three of Better Together, but nothing has been said from Hasbro. But shortly after the show ended, um, they put out this little trailer for the upcoming Pony Life series. They revealed really out of nowhere, and one of the things was they also revealed the toy line. However, though, that trailer was very quickly removed from all forms of social media because i think the main reason was because the song that was used in the trailer i think that stirred up a good bit of controversy from the lyrics and that is usually like something i can see happening a lot with today's society of music um but so really after that happened everyone kind of went silent on pony life but then like okay then like short while ago um they said the show was supposed to come out this year and i think and but yeah they stuck to that and that's a good thing because then shortly not that long ago a good couple weeks ago we got an official a more official trailer for the show itself and also they released the um they released the show's intro um which was and I took a look at that, and I thought it was—I thought it was interesting. It was—I was personally very worried for this after watching the original trailer with the toy line, as I felt like you know after Friendship Is Magic gained its proper ending, I felt like <clears throat> I felt like that when Hasbro was doing this, I more felt like they were gonna start milking the franchise since it got so popular, and that is usually a problem. I tend to have with big franchises, especially like when cartoons are such a massive hit, especially, I mean, look at Spongebob right now. I feel like I could probably go make a whole other video talking about that some other time. But yeah, like so many popular franchises tend to get milked by major companies. But I mean, as long as Friendship is Magic had its proper ending, I was still pretty okay. This just seemed to be, after watching the original trailer, this just looked more like a goofy spin-off that really wasn't supposed to be anything big or anything massively important because all I really knew about other than this was that we were supposed to be getting a new My Little Pony movie in 2021, just next year, that's supposed to be kind of like the introduction to Gen 5, which... I'm looking forward to I have we have no details on what's gonna happen in the movie but I'm very curious about what we're gonna see but anyways going back to Pony Life so uh, the first episode of Pony Life was aired on June 21st 2020 in Treehouse TV in Canada as well as the same for the second episode best of the worst I just finished watching both of them and I'm just gonna give my own thoughts on each episode I don't really know if I'm gonna be doing any other episode reviews of Pony Life after this one so for now I just want to talk about these two but so let's start off with Princess Proms so mostly one of the thing about these episodes is that they are broken into two parts um, in total they're all about just about 10 to 11 minutes long so each part is about like five minutes so I don't really know if like 
I don't know what exactly it's supposed to do. I don't know how these are aired on TV. I was just watching these online. Um, I will leave links to the episodes in the description down below so you can check them out for yourself. But let's get into these. So Princess Probs basically is about Pinkie Pie wanting to audition for a reality cooking show in Equestria. And so apparently right off the bat we'll reveal that this is definitely supposed to be a more goofy spinoff by seeing the fact that we have television in Equestria now. Uh, the only place where we ever saw a TV to begin with in Equestria was not even really in the regular Friendship is Magic series, but in Equestria Girls. And that was about it. As what we saw with Sunset Shimmer playing video games and things like that. But here in Pony Life, it's just the complete opposite. It's like, okay, we're going to put a modern society like television and things like that in here. But... Of all the like the modern technology I've seen so far, television is the only one I've seen. I've never, I have not seen like no iPhones, iPads, Macs, tablets, nothing like that. Just it's just television, and so it's like a so Pinkie Pie wants to audition for a reality television cooking show, and she's going a little nuts trying to make everything. And the main six they want to, or I don't know what to really call them when I'm talking about all of them except one i'm just gonna stick with main five but you know twilight sparkle and the rest of the gang they want to help her because they're afraid she's gonna blow it as this is a very seriously judged competition especially with princess celestia being one of the judges which is a pretty big deal and so twilight and her friends they try to come up with a bunch of different ways to make Pinkie pie do better at the audition at least it, it's really in their own eyes to help Pinkie Pie do better, when in reality, Pinkie Pie is going to be Pinkie Pie no matter what we know, no matter what she does. That's usually what tends to happen. And so they're all trying their own different little things. Twilight says, oh, you should clean up more. Rarity says you should look better, you know. And also Rainbow, she tells Pinkie Pie to be really flashy, a little bit, try and grab as much attention as she can. And so all the friends go a little bit overboard trying to help her that it actually ends up leading to disaster and Twilight and all of her friends except for Pinkie Pie, they all end up getting stuck in this massive pile of cake batter and it's literally like it's it's stuck. They're stuck there except Pinkie Pie was able to get herself out of that relatively easily. I mean, it's Pinkie Pie, what did you expect? And she's then upset that she has to go to her audition without her friends watching her and supporting her from the sidelines. And it turns out that's what she, that's really just what Pinkie Pie wanted all along. And now Twilight and her friends have to go to the audition, try to help her out as much as they can. But because now Pinkie Pie is upset that she has to go to the audition on her own. And so Twilight's like, we're not going to let this happen. We have to get out. And I, th I did find one thing humorous was that um, they're all stuck. So the only, so they find like the only way to get them out is they have to eat out of, eat, they have to eat their way out through the batter, which I'm like sitting there though, like as funny as I found it, I found it silly, but I'm like, Twilight, you have magic. You can just like, she's one of the smartest people in Equestria. She's very smart with magic. Like she could easily find a way to get out of that situation. It's really silly. It's goofy. But like, come on Twilight, you're better than that. So Pinkie Pie is at the audition and things are obviously not going well at all. It's not good. And the judges are very, very serious, including Princess Celestia. Though Pinkie Pie, in the end, she does manage to, to make something that she wanted to make. She gives it to Princess Celestia and Celestia, she, she tries the food, but just as her friends manage to make it in in time it's like it's too late but Celestia she tries it and of course um Celestia actually ends up really really loving it and she says oh you have to be on the show and Pinkie Pie's like oh but my audition was horrible but like of course Celestia says oh but you made such a great piece of you made something so delicious you've got to be part of the show and so in the end it's basically simple is that in the end it's the very simple lesson is that oh let your friends be themselves you don't have to sometimes your friends are better the way they are i think the way that i can put it is if it ain't broke don't fix it i mean and you know that that's usually kids shows in general and that's pinkie pie right there she's just a goofball she's silly 
but even with her crazy ways, she always manages to get stuff done in the end. And so overall, I thought for that being the first episode, I thought it was, I didn't think it was bad. I thought it was, there were definitely moments where I was kind of like, okay, that's a bit goofy, but I don't hate it. I really didn't hate that episode. I thought it was relatively funny. Now, guys, I know I said before that I was planning to review both the first two episodes of Pony Life for this review. However, like, looking at what I've gotten so far, I'm already really kind of far into this video, and I don't want to bore you guys. So I'm going to give you this, and if you want me to review the best of the worst, which is the second episode, uh, please let me know down in the comments below for you, and I will be happy to release the full rest of the video review which will consist of me reviewing the best of the worst. I'd be very happy to do so. I just don't want to take up too much time in this video. But yeah, so let me know down in the comments below if you want me to review the second episode. Um, and I will be happy to do so. But yeah, so when it comes to Pony Life, I honestly, I enjoyed it. I thought it was relatively fun. It's not meant to be taken as seriously as Friendship is Magic. Like, with that being its own series, this is supposed to be just a silly, fun little spin-off for younger audiences, obviously, to enjoy. Though I think older fans can definitely find some enjoyment in this as well. And with that being said, yeah, that that's my take on Pony Life. Specifically, that's my take on the first episode. Once again, if you want me to review the second episode, please let me know in the comments, and I will be happy to do that for you. I, I do like Pony Life. I thought it was pretty nice. And again, I will be leaving links to it right down in the description below for you if you want to check out the first two episodes. And yeah, so that's about it for you. And I guess I will, I will see you guys down in the future. You guys have a good day. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Did you like this video? If so, be sure to hit that like button to show support for the channel. Feel free to have a look at any of my other videos, both old and new. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you're notified every time I upload a brand new video. Also, don't forget to follow me on Twitter so you can stay up to date with my channel and for sneak peeks of what's coming. Once again, thanks for checking out today's video, and I'll see you next time.